Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you need to export data from Pipedrive to Excel? In this tutorial, we will guide you throughout the steps to export your Pipedrive data into an Excel file for easier analysis and reporting. Follow along to get your data exported. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience so guys first thing first is to go ahead and open pipe drive second thing log into your accounts and make sure that you have data at least in your accounts now also you have to make sure that you have excel or office 365 downloaded on your pc otherwise the excel file that you are going to export is not going to be open for you so to do that, you can also go to Microsoft Store and download it from here or either go to your Outlook account and download it from there and you will be able to get it on your PC. So just simply search for Office and you will be able to uh, find the Office 365 in this area. So as you can see, this one, you can click on it and then click on Download in case you didn't have it. So once I click on it, this is how it's opened and I make sure now that I have mine uh, here. So this is Excel, which is perfect. Let's close this. And now what I'm going to do is to export or to add some data first into my uh, account on Pipedrive and then export it. So let's go to contacts right here. And let me just make sure to remove everything. And now I'm going to start by Adam people so let's add a new person and let's basically give it some information so let's name it for example I'm just gonna go ahead and open this page fake a uh, name generator and I'm gonna copy these informations so for this one I'm just gonna give it organizations myth LCD for example phone I'm just gonna copy this paste it in here mobile email just gonna copy this one and for marketing status let's unsubscribe and basically we keep it like that and now we have this person let's add several people so we can have several like data and that will help us a lot so when we are actually basically like um, exporting it we have several things to look at and to make sure that everything is working so there we go, we're going to copy also this email and here let's make it subscribed and click on save and let's add a final third person so there we go let's add a final third person this one let's add the company name so let's go here um, let's go for example LLC here we go with this phone number in here with this email and now we're gonna be uh, or basically no consist and save so now as you can see we have these three people now the data should be something like that should have a name organization phone and a couple of these options so let's go ahead into these three points click on more and then click on import data once you click on import data this page should be open for you which will allow you to get the access to this option which is below import data which is called export data right click on it and now simply choose the file type so export form simply choose csv now from where do you want or what data type do you want to actually export you can export either leads or deals organizations, people, products, activities, notes, and files. Let's go with people. And now we should choose Excel form. Let's go ahead and export it. As you can see here, we have these people. So we have here this uh, export file that I have basically exported. If I want here and export it, for example, uh, exported organization you want the entire list of organization or related organization only you can click right here and export it and so go on so now for example I'm just gonna keep like click here 
items and now you simply have to wait until this available until is finished now you will find here that when it was created and now you simply have to wait for this to be finished and then these items will change the number of them in case there were any items to be uh, added or there were any item in this organization form and of course here will be the size of the file here the creator or basically the person who exported this data and here the last download so you can understand if anyone has downloaded it when was the last download and so go on so now all you have to do is to wait and as I said you have to get some data first inside of your account so you can export it and you can refresh the page there will be no problem you will not interrupt the exporting of the data as you can see so now as you can see I have now uh, exported it and you can see here the size has been changed the items are updated and the format has been changed and the last download also has been changed and it mentions also the name of the person who has downloaded it so let's go ahead and open it and as you can see here I have several names several informations let's go ahead and select everything in here enable editing then let's simply go ahead and just select everything and go ahead and do this so let's go this that that and so go on now this is these are not the information that we just added so we know we need to go here and download the other file and these will include the name of people that we just added which are these people so there we go and these are the people that we have added so we can find all of their information right here so this, these are the organization names with LTD, Robin Incorporation and Austin LLC here are the owner who did create this list and you can find here also the names which we just added in this video so you can go back to the beginning of this video and check, this, check these informations and you will find that they are similar and identical this means that the exporting has been done successfully we have everything in here with the IDs and all the available labels that are available in the form and that's pretty much it guys for today's video it's pretty easy just something to mention is you will not find the export option right here so you have to click on one of these options and then you will find these tools all these tools then you can click on export data so do not worry if you didn't find it here just click on one of them and you will be able to find it in here and that's pretty much it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial